My mom, when she when I told her I was gay, actually took me to like a psychiatrist. And I remember coming out and the psychiatrist being like, there's nothing wrong with your daughter. She's perfectly healthy. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And my mom was like, no. Watching TV, you see a lot of you know, fairy tales, and you see men and women, men and women getting married, you hear it in songs, you just everything, you're surrounded by like heteronorms. So I was really trying to um, mold myself into what a straight man looks like. A lot of it's kind of a blur because I was trying to be someone other than me. It was just like kind of like a transition from like, I'm a tomboy, I'm a tomboy, to like, oh, I'm like really, really different. I had uh, a best girlfriend, uh, a friend that's a girl who's my best friend. Um, and about the same time that I came out, she did as well. And it, it was just really helpful to have two people doing that at the same time and it kind of brought us closer together. Even when I was coming out, like I still had the things that I've heard from like friends and family growing up about, you know, gay people. Um, there were still those attitudes left over in my mind. So I had to like, really educate myself and immerse myself into that community and that world. I've been more comfortable with talking about it, but it's still not something that I'll come out and say, hi, I'm Jen, I'm bi. <laughs> One of my closest friends, I had been talking to her about how I had been dating a, a girl and I really thought she was really cute, but I also <laughs> liked a guy too. And she said, she got really fed up with me and she said, well, you have to pick sometime, like whichever one you're gonna be with. What does their gender have to do with how I feel about them? When people find out you're gay, like it, it, like it, it raises something in them. They feel endangered. They want to change you. And I've even had a priest once in high school tell me that, you know, I need to redeem my life um, in my sociology class in front of the whole class. And I had an argument with him. Speaking up for myself publicly was a really, really empowering moment for me at such a young age. There are so many different colors on the LGBTQ spectrum. You know, there's trans, there's, you know, lesbians, bi, you know, gender fluid, gender queer. There's so many subgenres of like, you know, people that exist in our community. At the end of the day, I really had to accept that there wasn't really a single subculture that was gonna define me. I had to accept that I was made of all of these things and that all of these identities don't necessarily make me. Be accepting of yourself um, even though other people might not do it. Maybe I lost a few Facebook friends over it, but at the end of the day, that's okay. How you feel is not what everyone says that you are. I know that sounds a little confusing. <laughs> You're gonna have to own it. You're gonna have to get your spoon, and you're gonna have to dig down deep and be like, all these layers are mine. And the sooner you do it, the sooner you'll really know yourself.